Installing insulation is the most cost effective energy efficiency measure for homes. Correctly installed and forming a continuous barrier, it'll last the life of the house and require no further cost or maintenance and reduce discomfort from temperature extremes. The Australian Government has also made energy efficient building compliance a higher priority for builders. For you as an installer, this means that energy efficient testing techniques like thermal imaging or blower door testing are likely to be more and more part of normal building practices. So, as an installer, if your work does not comply, it could mean a lot of unplanned and unpaid rework that could be devastating to your job or your business. This video resource has been produced to help inform as well as regularly refresh installers on some key points on how to make sure bats and wraps are installed correctly and effectively. Preparation. It's very true that proper preparation prevents poor performance. So always make sure you do the following before starting a job. Review your swims, noting all hazards and putting controls in place. Check especially that power has been isolated and the personal locks and tags are in place to prevent accidental re-energising. Check regulatory requirements for insulation with regard to how close it can be installed to cabling, downlights, fans and hot flues. And make sure that the correct type and size of product have been delivered for the job being done. Let's focus on insulation. The most important factor that impacts thermal building envelope integrity when looking at installations is that the correct materials for floors, walls and ceilings are used and that they are installed correctly. So this video will focus mainly on installing wraps and bats correctly. For information applying to other trades working on site and their possible impact on the quality of your work, please refer to the associated trades video also housed on this app. Installing insulation bats. The rule is leave no gaps. When installing insulation bats, the key thing to remember is always to butt bats together tightly so that there are no gaps between bats and joists, trusses, studs or noggins. Key checks and action to remember when installing insulation bats are in ceilings that you install to 50 mil over the top plate, if installing before the ceiling is in place, like with a friction fitted build, the bats are supported and when insulating the ceiling, remember to insulate the bulkheads. In walls, the insulation is continuous from the top plate to the bottom plate with no gaps. Make sure that bats never protrude past the stud. They should never be compressed to install the wall linings. Make sure that, where possible, insulation is slit and service lines are chased in rather than large holes cut. And lastly, in floors, make sure insulation bats are level with the top of the floor joists and held in place by using fixings or strapping. Installing wall wraps, the rule is, start from the bottom and have a good straight overlap. Key points when installing wall wraps are, always start the first run from 50 mil below the bottom plate at the corner of the building and run the length of the building and fasten. Make sure the anti-glare side faces out and the run is horizontal and straight. When moving up the wall, make sure the next run has 150 mil overlap over the run below. When working around doors and windows, fix the wrap to the far end of the door or window frame and then cut the wall wrap so that it overlaps by 50 mil. Seal all joints, as well as where cuts are made for services that penetrate the wall wrap with UV stabilised non-shrink tape. The app has more in-depth information on damp coursing, wall wrap materials, staples and fasteners. Cutting. The rule is always cut to size. 
Where bats or wraps need to be cut or shaped, the key is cut to size. Key checks and actions to remember when cutting to size are, always use a sharp knife, wear cut resistant gloves, and cut away from any electrical installations or services. Always cut holes for downlights. Don't use small pieces of offcuts that can easily move. Bats should be fitted around services and not compressed. Final checks. Once the installation is finished, do these simple checks to avoid rework. Check that the manhole cover has been fitted with a bat. That a packaging label has been fitted to the rafter near the access point to confirm the rating installed. That there are no gaps or bats out of place. That insulation around downlights, transformers, fans and flues is compliant. That power is reactivated. And finally, that you've taken a photo of your work as evidence of how you left the job. Remember, you can find detailed compliance information, including specific electrical requirements and simple additional checks in the documents section of this app. By regularly reviewing this video, you can make sure that the work that you do always meets energy efficient compliance and rework is avoided.